I'm going to be talking about manic shopping sprees because I feel like that's something that bipolar people do and it's something that I did and I think it's something that people might be curious about or they can relate to so I think it's part of like there's no like rationale behind it besides you're not really all there um, you're not thinking rationally when you're manic um, so you're gonna do things like that. It w you're not thinking about the future. You're not you're not thinking about um, anything besides your just besides the moment that you're in that very moment, um, the very moment. So I just picked out a whole bunch of stuff that I probably don't even own anymore because it was all crappy stuff. Um, and maybe I own a few things still because that was a lot of stuff. It was really expensive stuff, that's why it ended up being $1,200. And so that was that experience. And then I also bought a whole bunch of books. And they're mostly like recipe books, which I know is ironic since I don't like cooking or whatever. Um, but they're raw recipe books, so it's not really cooking. Um, and I bought a ton of books and when I moved in with my parents I had all of those books. And so they were like stacked, like really high on top of my bookshelf. So I have a bookshelf filled with books and then those books stacked on top of that. So it's just like a fuck ton of books. And it's not, I didn't like buy them all at once or anything, but I bought like three at a time, you know, just like, and I didn't need, I didn't need all of those books. Like I don't own any of those books now and I probably wouldn't buy any of them now because you can get, you know, recipes off the internet. So there's not really that much of a point. To have more than like one or two you know most you know uh, rational people they probably wouldn't have like every single recipe book under the sun you know they just get like they have like three or something <laughs> unless they're chefs you know so anyways so that that was one thing um, I would buy a lot of like snacks off the internet like raw food snacks which are expensive buy a whole bunch of snacks and specialty foods and just tons of stuff. Just shop, shop, shop. If I had money, I would spend it. Um, and ouch. And then I wouldn't have money anymore and I would struggle. Yeah. And it's not, there's no like rationale behind it. They're not thinking like, oh, I could use this. Like, oh, this would be smart to have. You know, it's just like, you know, there, there might be some sort of rationale that's not rational, like you have some sort of idea of the future that that's not um, going to happen. I don't know, you might have like something that you're shopping for that's going to happen in the future, or you're just so reckless with money because you feel like there's just like a never-ending fountain of money that you're going to have for some reason. So, uh, so yeah, if you have a family member or whatever who goes on these manic shopping sprees, don't be like, what were you thinking, you know, like, because they weren't thinking, you know, they weren't all there, um, so you can't really blame them for it, you know, they weren't in the right mind, they're not, like, <laughs> they're not doing it for any, like, actual thoughtful reason, it's just like, oh, there's money there, I'm gonna compulsively buy a bunch of stuff, <laughs> you know, so... You gotta be careful as far as that goes. So yeah, that's just all about manic shopping sprees. Just got a bunch of money, just throw it all away, you know? So, um, I don't know. It's, it's unfortunate, but it's something that happens when someone's manic.